All right, welcome back. We're in episode two of Corpse Party, so let's just jump right back into it. Okay. Uh, yeah. So in the last episode, I should probably recap. Um, uh, we did a we did a charm thing, and then there was a big earthquake, and I think we're all we all fell in a hole. So, ouch. Owie. Ooh. Ow. Oof. Ouchie. My leg. I can move it, so I guess it's just a sprain. Still fucking sucks, though. Huh? Where? I'm not at home. Am I? Why would you be at home, girl? <laughs> it can't be. Huh? It's so dark, I can barely see a thing. Yeah, for real. I thought it was just my monitor. Is, is this the school? Oh, convenient. We have lights. What's going on? What the hell is this place? I can move. Let's go. It's probably... Uh, I, I'm sad that I can't, like... Oh. <gasps> is that... Seiko? Seiko. Seiko. I know that's not the same word, but... Oh my... I, I, this isn't good. This really isn't good. I, I'm trying to- I'm trying to- Did she not hear me? I'm trying to get over there. How do I- d d d uh, Oh, door. Oof. That really hurt. My ankle's in pretty bad shape. You good, bitch? <laughs> Seiko! Seiko! Se- Thank goodness, she's still breathing. Seiko, come on! Seiko, wake up! Mm. Huh? Now me? What's up? Don't you what's up me? I thought you were dead! Hmm? Mm hmm? Hmm? Uh, where, where are we? What's going on? That's what I'd like to know. <sighs> hey, ain't budging. These windows are sealed up tight. And it's pitch black out there. I can't make heads or tails of what I'm seeing. What the hell is going on? Well, this is clearly a school building. Yeah, okay, good job. <laughs> Don't the desks seem unusually small to you, though? Like an elementary school? Boom, 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 boom. An elementary school? It can't be, can it? What is it? The printout on the wall. It says Heavenly Host Elementary, notice to all faculty and students. Heavenly Host? Isn't that the elementary school that preceded Kisaragi Academy? The one that was shut down and demolished? Oh god. Oh girl, okay. Oh god, what's happening? Where the hell are we? And where are our friends? And Miss Yui? Calm down, Seiko. Don't get so worked up. Deep breathing. Sorry. Seiko and I just stood there in silence, hand in hand. <laughs> I know what you are. <laughs> It was the first time in my life that I'd been shaking so hard I could hear my teeth chatter. I'd become completely lightheaded and couldn't even think straight. I know what you are. <laughs> Much less wrap my brain around what was happening to us. I kept telling myself, it's all a dream, some horrible nightmare. But no matter how hard I wished for it, I just couldn't wake up. 
and the silence was the worst part of it all. I couldn't take it anymore. I had to say something. Anything. I love how my model always says that I'm smiling, even though I'm not smiling right now. Hey, I don't have the slightest of idea of what's going on, but how about we try, try finding a way out of here? A way out? That's a different video game. We can't just stand here quaking in terror. We need to do something, you know? Besides, I don't want to be in this creepy place any longer than I have to. But the windows are all sealed shut. And I don't just mean they're stuck or locked. It's like they're decorations on the wall. I don't even think they can open it. Can't o can open it? What? Why did I make that a verb? A, a, a doing verb? I, I don't know what I'm... Uh, I wanted to make a joke about how this is just like Danganronpa because the windows were sealed in that game as well, but my brain just stopped. Is it even possible to leave this building? I'm not sure, but there might be an entranceway or an emergency exit or something. Some means of getting outside. You're right. And it's a lot better than just standing around. I feel like I'm going to go all loony in here if we keep this up. Stan loony. Okay then, first step is to leave this room. We've got to keep our spirits up. After all, it's probably just not just the two of us in here. The others have to be around somewhere, right? Yeah, and if we can re reunite with them, we'll find a way out of here together. That's the spirit. Get it? Because there's spirits here. There's ghosts. There's ghosts in the building. I had no reason to believe any of what I just said. I was probably delirious, to be honest. But I knew that if I didn't act, I'd start to go mad. I'd start to scream. I'd be inconsolable. So in desperation, I put on the strongest front I could manage. Ball? <laughs> Character introductions. Use the eye to interact with any character and learn more about them. When you're done, exit through the door on the southeast side of the room to resume play. Ball. Okay. Miss Yui Shishido, a 23-year-old 11th grade English teacher at Kisaragi High, just started this semester after passing her teaching exam and is eager to make an impression. Damn, 23... Imagine being a teacher at 23, good god. <laughs> Although not a perfect instructor by any means, her unjaded zeal and enthusiasm are infectious, and her students seem generally, res gen generally responsive to her methods. Also serves as a teacher's assistant during homeroom for class 2-9, and really seems to have connected with the students there. What happened? <laughs> Yoshiki Kishinuma, a 17-year-old student in Kisaragi High, class 2-9. Often regarded as sarcastic and cynical, but as far as he's concerned, he's just being honest. Okay. Although generally not one to participate in events, his fondness for Satoshi and Ayumi, Ayumi? 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 Means he'll make an exception now and again if either is involved. With intense drama at home, Yoshiki currently works part-time after school to avoid rent- to afford rent on a small apartment where he lives alone. Ayumi Shinozaki, the 17-year-old appointed representative Kisaragi High, class 2-9, oft often subjects her classmates to ghost stories and revels in hearing them scream. <laughs> It's generally believed that she carries candles and other horror goods with her at all times, just in case an opportunity presents itself to use them. In truth, however, Ayumi wears this reputation as a mask to hide her own fear of the unknown, which rivals even in Satoshi's in intensity. When faced with any truly scary situation, her knees give out and panic sets in. Only her personal pride can break her out of this fear-induced state. 
Mayu Suzumoto, a 16-year-old student in Kisaragi High Class 2-9, somehow looks much tinier than she actually is, but possesses a big heart and a bright personality. Accepts anyone and everyone with open arms, never playing favorites, which has earned her nearly universal regard amongst her fellow students. Unfortunately, due to familial circumstances, this was Mayu's last day at Kisaragi High. She'll be moving shortly and transferring to a new school. Damn. <laughs> do I do I want to start with this dude or do I want to? Uh, I'll start with this dude. Sakutaro Morishige. 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 <laughs> Shige. <laughs> Anyway, a 16-year-old student in Kisaragi High Class 2-9, he's been in the theater club with Mayu since middle school and developed a real closeness with her. He finds socializing with anyone else to be more trouble than it's worth. However, uh, trouble than it's worth, however, so he typically regards his other classmates with indifference. Takes great pride in his family heritage and reacts violently if anyone makes fun of his name. The only exception is the nicknames the, the nickname Mayu's given him, Sheik. Yuka Mochida, Satoshi's 14-year-old sister. All the This girl is 14, but look like the I don't I don't she I my brain stopped. Hold on. It's blue screening, buffering, something. Anyway, Satoshi's 14-year-old sister. Though she's an 8th grader at Kisaragi Academy Junior High School, she looks and acts much, much younger. That's what I'm saying. That's what I was trying to say. Yes, in the Mochida household, Yuka's always been the princess, generally getting her way and thus never really shedding her childlike behavior. Despite this, she yearns to grow up, often attempting to act older or braver than she is, which sometimes gets her into trouble. Do, 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 do. Seiko Shinohara, a 16-year-old student in Kisaragi High, class 2-9, lives very close to Naomi and generally accompanies her to and from school each day. A free spirit, she often says or does things that take others by surprise, though she's also easily forgiven due to her good nature and amiability. Her mother disappeared three years ago. <laughs> I... I I love how they just cut it in with backstory and it's just like this very tragic and traumatic thing happened to this person. It's like, yeah, they're all fun and good. Her mother is gone. Her mother disappeared three years ago, leaving her with three younger siblings and a working father. As such, she basically serves as head of the household. Seiko seems to regard Naomi as a kindred spirit, and the two of them frequently have long conversations about their many dreams for the future. Nice. Naomi Nakashima, a 16-year-old student in Kisaragi High Class 2-9 and a classmate of Satoshi's since junior high, frequently greets Satoshi with, oh, not you again. <laughs> Having lost her father a few years back, Naomi and her mother now depend on one another for moral support. Still, she remains optimistic and cheerful. Her home life has given her an interest in nursing, which she's intent on pursuing. She spends her time studying, aiming for acceptance to medical school. Good for her. Good for her. And this bitch. Satoshi Mochida, a 17-year-old student in Kisaragi Academy Senior High Class 2-9. Fairly average, but popular. Known for being both kind and cowardly in equal measure. Despite his timidness, he's very personable and open, which complements his general sensitivity towards others to make him a natural leader. The one person ever to challenge that leadership is Naomi, who is, consequently, consequent, why, why did my brain just shut off after I read, is that my, like, sleep rage and activation word? Like, what's going on? Who is, consequently, the only person who whom Satoshi regularly, regularly defers judgment. Alright, that's everybody. Unless there's someone in the closet. A, a, lo a lone frog soaking in formalin. Formalin. 
sits on upon the top shelf, eagerly awaiting dissection. I didn't think it would actually... Okay, cool. Um, bye. <laughs> and the character introductions and return to game? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, Naomi. Let's go. Right. We became one person there. Wait a sec. Eek. Another earthquake? No. <laughs> Is it over? Whew. I've had enough. Girl, me too. Let's just get out of this room. I love how I move for two seconds and then it enters another cutscene. This hallway looks totally different than it did before. Maybe the earthquake made more of the floor collapse? Y yeah, maybe. I need a board. I've played video games before. There's a yellow fluid congealing inside the rusted bucket. What the heck is this, pee? You don't say that. It probably is piss, girl. I, if you should encounter any dead ends, be sure to examine any spots on the walls or floors nearby that seem peculiar to you. Okay, good to know. Um, gap is relatively narrow here. It seems crossable, but it's a little too wide to risk jumping. Okay. Do, 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 do. Is there... This is the room I was in before. <gasps> a board! Uh, hey, Naomi? Hmm? Is something wrong with your leg? Oh yeah, I fucked that shit up. <laughs> yeah, I was so freaked out, I forgot all about it. I think I sprained my ankle when I fell. Well, that's not good. Will you be okay? That is so not Daijobu. I can walk at least. I'm sure it'll heal on its own. Girl, no, it will not. I, I'm not an, I'm not a doctor, right? But I do not think that's how that works. Especially if you're walking around on it. Like that's not, okay. Yeah, but you shouldn't push yourself. Here, lean on my shoulder, okay? Okay, thanks. I know what you are. <laughs> Okay. There's a loose board lying on the ground here. Take it with you? Yes. Loose board. A plank of wood pried up from the floor has seen better days, but still seems relatively sturdy. Acquired loose board. <laughs> loose board acquired. Let's go. Boop, beep, boop. Uh, let's go this way. The gap is... Hey, Naomi, what about that loose board <laughs> we found? Do you think it would support our weight? Like a bridge? Hmm, I don't know. It seems kind of beat up, but I guess it is pretty solid. We'll try it. W what else are we gonna do? We're gonna just be like... <coughs> I choked on my own spit when I was about to... Okay. <laughs> anyway. Okay, we're through this... A uh, candle. Hmm? This candle? I could swear I've seen it before. It's a save point. Let's go. <laughs> All right. I think has it been like twenty minutes? I'm trying to make I'm I'm trying to make like twenty minute episodes so I don't have to like um have like a ten hour like video that I need to edit. I, I that's so much. That is so much. Anyway, I think we're gonna end it off here. So, uh, see you next time, gamers. Ha <laughs> ha. Aha. Let's go. I did not have the stop recording button already. Okay, bye.